everyone. There is something very incredibly hopeful about a fresh start, and suddenly you trust the magic of new beginnings, as and when you realize your dreams. From the heaviness of being successful in your neat exams after your 12th board, to now being replaced by the lightness of being a beginner again, you have come a long way. On that note, I, Dr. Shruti, on behalf of the management, faculty and students of Sakta Valley College extend a very hearty welcome to our dignitaries and everyone present here to the white coat ceremony of the MBBS batch of 23-24. This day hallmarks the beginning of the journey at Sakta Valley College for the new entrance. By means of invocation, a human awakens and this awakening becomes fullness leading on to become eternal wholeness. Let us now invoke the blessings of the Lord Almighty with an invocation song by Mr. Prada or second name I request all the audience to rise. <coughs> Adagana Padani Malayandava Unnai Anudinamum Padavandin Vilava Adagana Padani Malayandava Unnai Anudinamum Padavandin Vilava Valima Il Nadani Babadi Velani Valima Il Nadani Babadi Velani Baravindum Mail me the Murugai Hani Varavendum mail me the Murugai Hani Muruga 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 Belly theatre near a betry by the veil of Mulatilton Rumi Belly theatre near a betry by the veil of Mulatilton Rumi Belly my lady veil and verum verin and jam carnumi Belly my lady veil and verum verin and jam carnumi Yena yardum mandavani edil veil ava Yena yardum mandavani edil veil ava Yeli enum una pada rulvaia Yeli enum una pada rulvaia Muruga rulvaia Shanmuga rulvaia Ragana padani malayandava Unai anudinamum pada vandin veil ava Adagana Padani Malayandava Unnahi Anudinamum Padavandin Vilava Light, a very important element of life which reveals vitality and beauty of the nature, gives hope, love, peace and trust. It eliminates all aspects of human life and helps nourish the soul showing us the right path towards better and brighter future. Knowledge is this light that can banish the darkness of ignorance. May I please request the dignitaries to light the lamp and mark the beginning of the career of the young students here by ushering in light and blessings. I also request Diya Diksha and J. Ketan from this new batch to join the dignitaries as they light the lamp. Sure that you all become better doctors of tomorrow by imparting knowledge 
and also the spirit to serve the sick and the needy. On that note, let me please welcome our dean madam, Dr. Chesh Kurda, to welcome this August gathering. Good morning to one and all assembled here. Respected Chancellor Sir, who's always our pillar of strength, and uh, respected Chief Guest, eminent Chief Guest, Dr. Bhutmeet Singh, the Vice Chancellor of Pondicherry University, Puducherry, and also the member of National Medical Council, and respected Dr. Rashmini Kumar, VC of Indian Council of Medical Research, and our respected Vice Chancellor, and our respected Director of Academics. Students, uh, really you owe a great congratulations from you for getting this uh, medical seat. And also the proud parents who are all assembled here. I welcome one and all. I extend my hearty welcome to our Chancellor Sir, who is always a uh, visionary, who is always uh, very supportive in all the endeavors we undertake in our college and always is present for all the help we need. Thank you, sir, for being here and I welcome you. <laughs> and I welcome our chief guest, Dr. Gurmeet Singh, uh, who is a VC of Pondicherry University. <laughs> Amongst all his busy schedule, he is here with us to motivate you. Definitely his address is going to be very motivating because he's got a long career which Dr. Gunapriya would tell you. And definitely we thank you, sir, for the long journey you have undertaken to be among our new fresh students and the parents. Thank you, sir. And I welcome our uh, Dr. Ashwini Kumar. Uh, ICMR uh, VC, who has always been again uh, supportive for us in all the uh, research projects uh, we are undertaking. And I extend my heartfelt welcome to VC and also I extend my welcome to our Director of Academics, who is always enthusiastic and I always feel how he has got the energy and time to keep on thinking new, new things which will be very beneficial and which will uh, shape our students to a better uh, individuals when they go out or pass out of this institution. And definitely I extend a warm welcome to you, sir. And again, I extend my warm welcome to the parents who have toiled all the way to get your student, uh, your son or daughter to this state. And also the students who underwent a long journey of uh, hardship, but for that you wouldn't be here. And so a great, once again, congratulations for all of you for being here. And again, a few words of uh, wisdom or uh, whatever you want to call that. See, having entered this uh, medical curriculum, everybody thinks it's a hard one, but it can be very enjoyable and it could be very fruitful if you couple that with your hard work and sincerity. And for the first time you are coming out of the house or the coming out of the nest given by your parents. So you have to learn to sort of marshal your actions and you have to marshal your time also very well and strike a great balance between academics, extracurricular activities and social activities. We are not saying that you should not have any extracurricular or social, but academics f comes first and then we have to strike a balance. So I wish you all a great luck and once again I welcome each and every one of you here present here wholeheartedly for this ceremony of White Coat where we induct the new students, medical students of batch 2023. Have an enjoyable stay with us and we will welcome all our uh, support and expertise to you so that you go out as a very good medical doctor from this institution. Thank you one and all. Thank you, ma'am. It is said that 
integrity, insight, and inclusiveness are the essential qualities of leadership. True to the above words, Dr. Deepak, a director of Cadre Excellence, he inspires us with his determination, dedication, and comprehensiveness. May I please request Dr. Deepak to address the gathering and present his opening remarks and also introduce Santa Medical College and Hospital to this August audience. Good morning and a warm welcome to all the dignitaries on the dais, of the dais, parents and prospective students. So at the outset, as Dr. Shruti was saying, you are one of the lucky five person to have gained an opportunity to pursue medicine. And that itself is a very uh, complex set of things you need to process because one is getting the opportunity, next is what do you do with the opportunity because many people get a lot of opportunities in life. But use this opportunity to make a difference, not to the world alone but to yourself because sometimes if you always end up comparing, you may not feel good or it will be difficult to you know, outwit everyone or there will be always something somewhere we will not be the best and that is natural for even the best of us. The, uh, you know, the prettiest of us, the smartest of us, the most sporty of us, everyone, th those are all, there will be limitations, there will always be somebody better than you. So always look at how you can be better than yourself. So if you had X amount of skills, make it a plan that every day you are a little better in what you do. So next thing what we'd also uh, request or, you know, imply is that, uh, a noble profession, a doctor is a noble profession and uh, the entire system, the curriculum, it's all well established and it's a, uh, everybody plays a small part in how the healthcare of the country works. Um, but always keep your heart in the pa passion for the patients because uh, you may get tired of seeing lots of poor patients come in asking you stuff. but first few times you, may, you might answer with great sincerity but over time you may become a little bit I would say desensitized uh, to their pain but don't do that try to look deeper it is difficult I know but it uh, that is what will make you a great doctor because you should not become desensitized to other suffering you should always feel it uh, and take that noble path of trying to you know empathize with them the way you would feel it for your own relatives and that uh, that is what makes you a great doctor because skill can always be acquired but uh, passion and those things and all has to come from within you cannot uh, teach those things to a student you have to inculcate it so i i hope and i am very sure that uh, you know all of you would really find your calling and you would try to be the best you can be it doesn't matter how others do Try to be the best you can be. That should be your preliminary aim. Next is giving a brief introduction about your curriculum. At Savita we do a lot of things a little different and that is one of the primary reasons. I am also proud to state that uh, at the current state among the deemed universities we are the highest filled. We are almost completed the admission process whereas even other institutions who are older than us who have still plenty of more uh, vacancies available. So the reason for this kind of uh, positive response we have primarily acquired is because of a small group teaching. So traditionally medical curriculum people would teach in classes which are north of 150 to 250 class students in a classroom. There's nothing wrong with it but it's just that it's not a personalized way of teaching. You would not imagine a school where you were put among 200 students together and you would not want to learn in that kind of an environment. So that way we have uh, all our classes are taken only in classes of 40 and that also means that we have to reteach everything six times. So that's a lot of hard work the faculty are putting only to make sure that no student is forgotten or ignored at the back bench. We try to make sure it is as personalized as it's possible. We also bring in a lot of uh, advanced uh, learning techniques into the curriculum. Uh, one is that they use concept maps. First is to understand the shallow width of the subject. You get to know what is what across the board and then you go deeper into what needs to be known at a deeper level. And this way we are also seeing the tremendous improvement in our student scores. 
Almost all exams, we have always invite examiners from AIMS or central institutes. And that is not because, uh, because what we are trying to say is that we are trying to make sure that our evaluation is at the strictest level. And even when the highest quality faculty or the they will come with high expectations, uh, we had, uh, you know, we have recommendations written by them itself saying that, you know, their uh, uh, average AIM students would be lower than our low end students. So that was a very, very remarkable comments we got from uh, faculty, both in departments of physiology and biochemistry who came from AIMS just the last year. So the, again, uh, that is about the, uh, how these things help you perform. Next is, you know, we also put a lot of emphasis on research and research is the spirit of inquiry. You want to invent, you want to inculcate and I think our country, even though our medical fraternity or you would say Indian doctors are popular all over the world, 90% uh, of the Indian uh, hospitals run based on foreign technology only. How many of the in instruments have been invented here? How much has been in innovated here? How much from India is going to other countries where they say, you know, Indian uh, stuff will be of high quality because that, that needs to come in. And that has been one of the core philosophies of what our national government is also pushing. It is in our uh, national education policy also where you bring in, inculcate the sense of innovation and entrepreneurship. It should be enlightened at this young age. It cannot come at a later level. So, and in our research, we conduct massive programs, uh, both in funding and also we conduct a lot of uh, innovative uh, collaborations with the, along with the engineering students to develop biomedical instruments and all those things. We also have, uh, advanced electives available for undergrads, especially your batch, you should be able to in, uh, utilize it. So supposing, you know, uh, you have a spur for doing uh, engineering, the new uh, NEP policy allows you to take up engineering as a side track also along with your medical curriculum. We are working out the timings for that. So those who are interested can take one of those tracks as well for a dual degree, purse, so to speak. So the next thing is, similarly, those who are interested in management can also take up something like that, but at an undergrad level. Uh, so at the postgrad level, we can do postgrad level uh, dual degrees, but at undergrad level, we can do undergrad level dual degrees. So the next is, that is about research and innovation. Next is clinical training. Clinical training also, we try to differ from other institutions in that the primary focus on undergrad in a clinical training would be more of an observation level. They would be standing <coughs> in groups and, you know, watching cases one or the other. But here we do things differently in the sense we ask the, the first triage or the evaluation and uh, distribution of cases done only by our phase 3A students. So rather than learn it in theory fashion, asking every patient and analyzing and understanding, you know, they usually say this famous term, you know, a rare diagnosis, rare. So, but that as a student, you will never understand that. But once you start seeing it, you will, you, once you, you will start getting a, a sixth sense, so to speak, when you see the patient, so you may be able to start making some kind of uh, uh, an educated guess as to what uh, will be one of the primary problems for the patient. That ability to see the gait of the patient and make some diagnostic uh, um, affirmations. So that way, our clinical training is also extremely good. You can ask your seniors also. Many of them are very, very happy with their exposure there. And we are improving it year by year. So, and the other thing is that we also are a completely paperless hospital. Because of this, we were able to save more than six tons of paper just the last year alone. So what it means to be paperless is that all our records, right from uh, registration, to everything, because traditionally when you say paperless, it'll be like there'll be an MRD department sitting and converting everything from paper to paperless. But that's not what we mean. Everything from faculty approval, faculty opinions, student entries, everything goes through a system. And the system is not just collecting electronic health records. It also has a, a graded system. So as you're doing more and more procedures, everything would be added to your competency. And it creates a very transparent and a clear uh, pathway for each student to, you know, develop skill and uh, complete it. Because uh, one of our primary focus is to, you know, 
uh, or you know the common criticism would be you know doctors of the 1970s they had much more skill day by day because as more specialization and super specialty has come the undergrad skill development is not given that much importance but here we are primarily focusing on bringing back the good old days so to speak we are very focused on skill development and skill is one of our core domains where we want our student to stand out from the remaining crowd in the sense you uh, Savita student will be able to do these procedures so well and so the thing so they would be the preferred doctor of choice for these kind of procedures so that's our aim holistically speaking I was speaking to the chief guest also our biggest vision is to become a center like CMC or Saftarjan where we are able to cater to tens of thousands of patients and have the best of equipments uh, we have a digital 3D anatomy museum printer which is one of its kind in India and uh, that printer can directly print tumors or anything for that which you can do mock surgeries and catheterizations and any kind of laparoscopic work also. Similarly we have robotic surgery which uh, no other medical college in China has and uh, all of this has been done. Uh, not with the midst of developing the hospital alone, but to develop the center for training in these advanced skills. So those few words, I ex inspire, I hope I can inspire all of you to do, uh, you know, gain the most because uh, uh, you are here for five years and this five years will shape uh, a major part of your life. Uh, try to be very smart about it. Try to absorb as much knowledge as you can. Try to, you know, uh, be, you know, very sharp. You know, you want to go get that. You you have a plan. Like, you know, I would be very happy if at least 10% of you get into AIMS for PG. So that would be the level of uh, ambition because it doesn't matter where you are now. The next five years can change where you go. And so be very smart. Try to utilize it to best of your needs. Don't think of it as just a list of checklists you need to finish to graduate, but rather it's a list of items you want to create for yourself because uh, some students are very smart. They start thinking now it's, you know, I, once I go there, I'll have to take over my dad's practice or I'll have to set up a clinic here. I'm going to start a hospital like this. So there I will need to know how a hospital is run or I want to know how uh, the logistics of uh, purchasing is done. All those things, some students will come and start probing. So that spirit of inquiry you should have. You shouldn't be just, you know, uh, just go with the crowd. You should literally, you know, start defining. If this is where you want to end up in life, you start looking at those people and start getting information. How do I do this? How do I do that? And collect a lot of information from a lot of your seniors. I mean, postgrad or faculty. Do not think it's out of your place to go and ask them these things. Be bold, be brave, go and ask. Only if you ask, you will know about more information. The more information you know, the more empowered you will be to plan your life ahead. So with those few words, I welcome you all, and I hope you have a wonderful time. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I now request our Vice-Chancellor of Sinas, Dr. Chalam Shivaji, sir, to share a few thoughts on the spiritual thing. Very good morning, Kale Wanakam to everybody. Honorable uh, Chancellor, Dr. Annam Varian, sir, uh, our uh, eminent uh, chief guest of today, Dr. Gurmit Singh, Professor Gurmit Singh, Vice Chancellor of the prestigious uh, Pondicherry University, our friend uh, Dr. Ashwini Kumar, Director of ICMR Institute, again from Pondicherry, our Dean, Dr. Uh, Amuta. Dr. Deepak Nalaswamy, who is Director of Academics, my dear parents, students, ladies and gentlemen. At the very outset, I would like to congratulate all my students who have actually opted to join this very prestigious university. And you will have plenty of opportunities here. Dr. Deepak already enumerated all the facilities and all activities what we have here. And more importantly, this is a multidisciplinary university where you are able to learn uh, the other subjects other than the medical field also. Because the uh, crux of the present day education and learning is to have a multidisciplinary skills. You, as a medical student, you definitely focus on your themes, but 
at the uh, on the other side you have to learn the other aspects of medical sciences also so right across this uh, medical college we have uh, college of physiotherapy college of nursing allied health sciences and therefore you have plenty of uh, opportunities for learning this is what uh, i can say and when i say that we are we are really proud of uh, uh, having opted for this college because of a few reasons dr deepak has actually not uh, told that so we are our uh, dental college uh, placed number 1 in the nrf for 2023 rankings <laughs> this is not only today this year but consecutively we have got it 2022 also we are number 1 so subsequently we are getting for two years this is at the national level but when you consider at the international level we have the qs uh, rankings where uh, 20 23 rankings we are placed at number 13 we have actually climbed up to five steps more last year it was number 18 so these are the few credentials as far as this particular medical college is concerned in 2022 there is another uh, grading uh, qs igos this very medical college got the platinum plus where none of the indian institutes for any subject got that kind of honor and as far as uh, this uh, present uh, situation is concerned your uh, white coat ceremony so you wearing a white coat means you have lot of weight on you lot of weight in the sense you have so much responsibility on this so there is a it's a very dignified uh, profession and very noble profession where you have to imbibe the quality of uh, professionalism as well as humanism so these are the two qualities as a doctor as a would be doctor you need to imbibe and inculcate right from the beginning as i said you have plenty of opportunities for learning uh, activities but at the same time you should also utilize your common sense because the common sense is more important but more often than not we all ignore it because common sense is not so common we everybody so it doesn't have a common sense but the apply your sense at the right moment and right way is what is actually common sense so particularly in the field of medicine as a medical uh, doctor you need to have apply your common sense when you look at the patients you need to give an impression that you are for them so that is what is uh, common sense and uh, your relations with the pat uh, patients is more important than your professionalism and uh, humanity so humanity is also very important aspect and every one of us should have a humanity but doctor should have more, more humanity because when you look at the patient you have to treat him like your own family member so then only you can actually understand them and uh, you understand the disease ailments and you can properly treat him so that is what is uh, required uh, at this uh, juncture in time and uh, as i said you have uh, uh, plenty of opportunities for uh, multidisciplinary learning here and uh, keep up and uh, with your uh, kind of enthusiasm of learning new things will always help you because uh, your doctor is very renowned by his professional uh, ethics only not by how much money you are earning so i my sincere advice is as a doctor after passing out from here and don't run after money then you will spoil your entire career so you run after your professionalism you run after your ethics and you run after your humanity so that is more important so with this i once again congratulate all of you uh, wish you good luck in your future career thank you leadership is the ability to guide others without force into a direction or decision that leaves them still empowered and accomplished sir lisa cash hidden our founder and chancellor of nmbn has always been that leader and visionary 
who believe in great things, accomplish them with grace, and teach us all with love and simplicity. So your presence is a force that inspires us all to do more. Thank you very much for agreeing to be amongst us. May I please now request you to share your words of wisdom and bless the new batch of Indian doctors. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, all are you tired now? <laughs> be brisk. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, very good. You should be like this always. 24 hours, a doctor should be always alert. First of all, I want to thank you for choosing Savita for your higher education. And welcome to Savita campus, Savita family. Respected Chief Guest, our Vice Chancellor, Director, our staff, students, parents and newcomers. I feel really happy. I could see all your uh, bright faces today because your dream has become true today, isn't it? Parents' dream have become uh, true. <laughs> Our ten step. See, life is full of challenges. This is one challenge. So far you have met one uh, challenge that is your plus two exam and the neat exam. Somehow who could face it and accomplish it without any, with playing class, isn't it? I should congratulate for that. And I am very happy that you have come. You have faced out one uh, challenge, major challenge in your life. Like this, you will be facing a lot of challenges in the years to come. But don't afraid of challenges. Challenges only will make you strong. You will become stronger and stronger once you meet a lot of challenges and solve it. Your dream has come true, your parents' dream has come true, and now other next dream is you should be the best doctor, isn't it? Isn't that your aim, our dream? Don't be scared or anything. We are all your, like your uh, father, you know, I am asking you. What do you feel? Our previous uh, speakers have told you everything about the college, everything about the course, about all the advantages and all. I am not going to talk about that. I am going to tell you, you enjoy yourself for another four years, you will be here. You enjoy and uh, make use of all the facilities, not only the academic and uh, hospital <laughs> facility. You uh, enjoy the sports facility, cultural facility, what not. I should see all of you in the actively participating in the cultural activities. And be friendly with everyone. All of you are your friends. Even your uh, faculty also. You are lucky you have a wonderful faculty. They are here. They will be like your friend only. You can ask them any question or any doubt. They will be only happy to help you. Second thing is, we have a mentor-mentee system. For every 10 students, there will be a mentor. And even the parents will know what's going on in the college every day. And we are all here to help you, to shape you a best doctor, isn't it? Therefore, I request all the parents, students, and all our staff to put the maximum effort, whole heart, to seek you to become a good doctor. I pray, Lord Morgan, that you will become a very good doctor in the future, and I wish all of you a grand success in your life. Thank you.
sir. I now request Dr. Gurun K. Raghunath, Professor and Head of Department of Anatomy and Associated Academics, to introduce our chief guest for the day, Professor Dr. Gurun Singh. Very happy morning to all the dignitaries on the dais, fresh students dreaming to become doctors, proud parents and my dear faculties from various departments. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce the chief guest of the day, Dr. Gurmeet Singh. Dr. Gurmeet Singh is a Vice Chancellor of Pondicherry University, Puducherry, and Vice Chancellor Additional Charge, Gandhigram Rural Institute, Gandhigram, Dindical, Tamil Nadu, and also sir is a member of National Medical Commission. Dr. Gurmeet Singh has done his undergraduation and postgraduation in chemistry in St. Stephen's College, New Delhi, and later went on to pursue his PhD from Delhi University. Sir has been the Professor and Head, Department of Chemistry, University of Delhi, and also as Proctor, University of Delhi. Sir has a long lineup of several prestigious awards to his credit. I would like to read out these awards to inspire our fresh incoming medicos. Meritorious Contribution Award received at Defense Institute of Advanced Technology. The Annapurna Award given by the Society for Advancement of Electrochemical Science and Technology for the best paper. Best Paper Award given by the Electrochemical Society of India, Indian Institute of Sciences, Bangalore. Prestigious IAAM Medal of the Year 2016 by International Association of Advanced Materials, Sweden. Chemicals and Petrochemicals Award by FICCI 2018 for distinguished contribution to Indian chemicals industry in recognition of outstanding leadership and tireless efforts over the years. NABA's Recognition Award by National Academy of Science. Lifetime Achievement Award by National Association of Corrosion Engineers, USA. Nawab Bahadur Syed Nawab Ali Chowdhury Award 2022 by University of Rajshahi, Bangladesh. Illustrious Stephanian Award by St. Stephen's College, Delhi. The honor is in recognition of his contribution to teaching and research and also for serving as a role model for society. Distinguished Leadership Award 2023 conferred by the Society for Plant Research. Sir, kindly pardon me if I have missed out any. Sir is a member of several learned societies. He has been a part of several academic activities, such as being a member of Academy Council, Research Committee, Executive Council, NCRT Council, Subject Expert Committee, Jury Member, Proctor, Recruitment and Assessment Board, and Governing Council in many universities. He has also served special assignments offered by the Central Government of India, has a very rich, immersive, and profound teaching and research experience in the field of chemistry. Has guided 55 PhD scholars and 14 MPhil scholars. Has delivered guest lectures and is a visiting professor in several countries across all continents in the globe. Has signed MOUs with many countries worldwide. Has more than 200 publications in reputed international journals. His field of interest is corrosion science and technology and smart electrochemical materials in energy and sensing devices. At present, Sir is leading a research group at Electrochemical Laboratory in Department of Chemistry, University of Delhi, with about eight doctoral students, two postdocs, and two associate professors. Sir, your achievements are endless, and we are literally awestruck with the amount of contribution that you've given to the field of chemistry. Our students truly need your words of wisdom, motivation, and blessing, Sir, as they step into the portals of Savita Medical College to become highly competent first contact physician in future. Looking forward to your speech, sir. Thank you all. Good morning, Monakam, as we say. Our very respected and visionary Chancellor, Dr. Virayan, the Director of Studies, Dr. Deepak Nalayan, then Vice Chancellor of the University here, Dr. Ashwini Kumar, Director of VCRC at Pondicherry, all of the dignitaries sitting here on the dais, faculty members sitting amongst the audience, deans, heads, uh, parents and my dear young students and ladies and gentlemen. I deem it a great honor to be here 
in this institute because when I was listening to the achievements of the institutes wherein they said it is number one, number three, whatever they were saying, we were in the number first five, which is a great achievement. For an institute which is not 100 years old, if you compare it with the institutes which they were talking about, they are very old institutes, they are put in seven, eight decades. But this institute is a very young institute as compared to the life of a real established institute if you compare. 15, 20 years is no time, but in such a short span of time, the kind of status it has achieved, it is really laudable. So for that reason, I am delighted to be here, let me tell you. When I looked at the young students and I was looking at the paper here, white coat ceremony, and I said they are all wearing black dress today. Uh, came as a little bit of a surprise to me, but let me tell you, this is how it is. A great contrast, it comes in your life when you start from one side to the other side. So from black to white, that's what I was dreaming, thinking of you. And I was also thinking, the way these bright minds are sitting here with their parents, with all kinds of hopes, what do I talk to them? Dr. Deepak has already put a lot about the institute, a lot about what you are expected to be doing. The Chancellor has already given you his word of wisdom. Vice Chancellor has put it, Dean has put it. So a lot has already been said. So I was uh, thinking, where do I begin? How do I start? What is it that I am going to tell you in about 20 minutes time? And then to compound my problems, they read my CV that I have done this, that. You must be wondering, what is it that we do it? How is it that we are managing two universities and whatever? So, I was in a great dilemma, Chancellor Sir, that what do I tell these young medico students who are entering the real annals of their life now, as the first day from today? So when I thought about it, when I pondered, I thought I'll give them some, some suggestions, not advice. Suggestions, one of the best suggestions they have already got. While you are here, you enjoy your life. That's important. And let me tell you, a person would do very well when you start enjoying that profession, when you start enjoying that subject, enjoy that career. Sachin Tendulkar did very well because he, he enjoyed cricket. Harman Preet does very well in hockey because he enjoys hockey. Had it not been that, they would not be in where they are. And if you have heard about Gary Sobers, that great all-rounder of cricketer, cricket, who is now 84, and when you see him attending parties and functions, he enjoys everything. So the first cardinal principle is, you start enjoying whatever you are doing. If that is going to be your cardinal principle, you will never look back and you will do very well. You will develop with this kind of an approach, a sense of focus which you only will have it, which as I said, if you start enjoying your profession. When you do that, whatever you would do once, whatever you will learn once, you will develop such a remarkable focus that you will not have to read it again. That will be imbibed in your memory forever. That's important. And if that focus is developed, you will save time. When you are in the class, you are listening to that with rapt full attention. You will not have to listen to that again. It will be imbibed permanently. So this is what will put you on a right path. You will embark on a journey which will really take you miles and miles to what you are trying to achieve. So this is one developed focus. This is how I will begin my talk. Develop focus. Focus is 100% concentration. Two examples I will give you here. You would have heard about the, that great wizard of mathematics called Lady Shakuntala Devi. Give her any problem, she comes out with a solution. Do you think that she's memorized everything? If I tell you, you remember log tables, I don't think you can ever do that. But you use it. She remembers everything. How is it? She had that perfect sense of focus. We call it photographic memory. She would look at it and uh, reproduce everything. There are many great in this bracket, Lala Hardyal, I don't know how many of you have said, there are many libraries on his name. He would read everything, anything, 
and will repeat for better. He would listen to any tune, will repeat. Listen to any language, will repeat. That is photographic memory. This uh, great philosopher, Bhagavan Rajneesh, I'm not a follower of anyone, but I'm just telling you, vociferous reader. He will read uh, 100 pages in, a, in an hour and will remember everything, including data, table, everything. So this comes when you have an absolute sense of focus. If they could do it, you can also have it. Try doing it, I am telling you, you will be able to develop that sense. And it is possible, we have tried, we are telling you with our experience of life that we have gained. So first thing should be, your attention should be wherever, whatever you are doing, absolute attention to that and you will not require to repeat and you will, others will do their course, you will do 10 things extra and you will still do very well. With that focus, you will save so much of time that you will be able to pursue enough other kinds of hobbies, sports, music, cultural activities. You will do many other things which a person who doesn't have a focus will not be able to do it. And that, if you do it, you will become practically an all-rounder. And when you become an all-rounder, a perfect human being, then you will also be a good doctor which a quality, a kind of qualities which a doctor requires. When I was sitting here and listening to everybody, my thoughts went back to 1989. I was in Kenya and uh, a religious leader of Kenya was giving a discourse. And he was asking another one, if you have to meet God, where do we go? How do we reach God? How do, we, how do we meet Almighty? And the answer he gave was, it's, it's not very difficult. Go to a place where people are sitting together and the focus is on singing the praise of Almighty. Now if you just analyze it a little deeply, you will find what is it where people sit and people sit together with absolute focus and they sing the praises of Almighty. These places are, uh, are places where we worship. Go to temple, this is what we do. Go to a Gurdwara, we do this. Go to a mosque, go to a church. We all praise the Almighty. When we do that, our thoughts are not here. Our thoughts are with the Almighty. That's where you can feel the presence of God. I was extending that when I was sitting here. That how do we reach God? I was extending that to this particular day. A day when some young bright minds who have come out of lakhs of students and they have been successful enough to be among this 1% or 0.5% of the society and they are here. When I was looking at their faces, when I was looking at their vibes, the vibrations which are there, I was feeling, I was thinking this is the place where if you look at, you can get the presence of Almighty. That is important. And I, when I say that <clears throat> the presence of Almighty is going to be here, that is the presence of so many budding doctors. And we always say a doctor is the other form of God. This is where God is present. So many young minds, absolutely pure minds, completely devoted to this, is a place where Almighty is present here. Now, I have equated this to the highest level and it is your responsibility to show the society that we are for you, we are meant for you and we will serve the society in the best possible ways. We will put ourselves before anything else comes in. And how you are going to do it? I said start enjoying your profession, develop a sense of focus and when you have that, this is what is going to be emerging out of it. The very presence of Almighty in your own body, in your own heart, in your own mind. If that happens, you will find that you will make most judicious use of time in your career. That is important. If we make use of time, proper use of time, then sky will not be the limit for us. We will certainly do very well wherever, whether I am going to be a dermatologist, orthopedic specialist, pediatrician, any line I pick up, 
as long as I am doing everything with absolute concentration, I'll be the best person to serve the society. And that's what we are looking forward to. We are here to prepare so many young minds who would be serving our society in the best possible ways. And all those who have done very well, I've named some, you can listen to some others. Tata, the whole house, Birlas. Do you think that they were uh, putting much more work than a laborer does here? They were focused. They had sense of timing. They saved time. If you lose a day, please remember, this is never going to come back in your life. If today Tata says, give me one day back, which I had, one day back in my life, even one minute cannot come back. Once it is goes, it goes forever. So the most judicious entity that you can think of in your life is time. Nothing else. If you fall sick, you can regain your health. If you lose money, you can work a little more, you can regain that. Even character, if you lose, our forefathers used to say, if money is lost, something is lost. Health is lost, little more is lost. If character is lost, everything is lost. Even that these days people recover by going to Almighty, by asking for forgiveness, prayers, and they become good human beings subsequently. But what is not regainable is time. Once it is lost, it is lost forever. So please remember, the most judicious entity in your life is going to be time from now onwards. Every minute that you spend should be very well spent and it should be spent with a full focus. If you do it with full focus, you will save a lot of time and at the end of the day, you will have a question to ask to yourself. I have saved so much of time. I have so much of time. I can do this also and that also. Anything that will come your way, you will be willing to do it. And let me also tell you an axiom towards the end. A busy, busiest fellow, a person who is extremely busy, will never tell you he will not do it. You go to him, sir, I need to have this thing done. I need help. The answer will be, please leave it. Let me see how soon I can help you. How soon I can do it. How soon I can finish it. He would never say, get out. I don't have time. Go to somebody else. Go to a person who has nothing to do. No work. He's wasting time. Go to him. His first intention will be, I have no time. Go to somebody else. So this is the difference. A busiest person would find time to do everything in the best possible manner. A person who has nothing to do will not be able to do anything. More work means more time. It's a paradoxical statement I'm making. I'm making things a little more difficult for you to understand. More work means more time. And more time, if you have, means more talent you'll develop, more sense of spirit you will have for serving the society. And for serving the society, the best profession Everybody is a nation building, everybody is contributing, but the best profession for this society is to become a good medical doctor. And that is what we are here for. And you are one of those very fortunate ones who have been able to get into number one institute in our country at the moment, which is Savita Medical College. Nothing better could be there in your way. And if you can make best use of your stay in the next four or five years here, you will never look back and you will always have. People will tell you if you do this, follow this kind of a principle, sky will be the limit. Sky will not be the limit. I will say, people will say, do this, sky is the limit. I am modifying it for you. If you do this, spend your next four years most judiciously you will find that sky will not be the limit for you. You can even go beyond. And we have demonstrated that. Chandrayaan is one example. So we, if we can do it, we are capable. You all can do it, let me tell you. So therefore, I would pray to Almighty that you stay healthy, remain healthy, work best the way I have explained, develop focus, save time, enjoy your profession. And with once you start enjoying your profession, you will find that you will be able to serve the society in the best possible way by enjoying that. And if you do this, probably our, achieve, our goal of achieving whatever we have come here for would be fulfilled 
in the best possible manner and uh, uh, whatever we are doing will go a long way in improving the society for which we are serving. So with these words, I congratulate all of you. I congratulate the management of the Savita Hospital that such a good facility has been provided to them. When I entered the hall, I told Dr. Deepak, very nice design you have here, as if the rays are emanating. This indicates a kind of positive vibes which are coming in your mind. Make best use of this. God bless all of you and all the very best to everybody here. Thank you very much for inviting me. Asifa Abdul Jamil. Harshini <coughs> Sandhya RM SG Mukund Harani K. Ananda Krishnan Supriya. Aishwarya Vishwanathan. Gundradi Ramya V. R. Thirumale Arasan M. Prapti
श्री दर्शनी आप फातिमा अफरिन मित्रन रंगस्वामी कृष्ण मित्रा पायणीस्वामी कविता शाणिका टीएस ज्योत्सना शारदा प्रभु सुजीता भी सचिन ई प्रियंका बी मोहम्मद नबील तजुद्दीन नवीन अनादुर तानिया कृष्ण निरंजना अरीवागन साधना लक्ष्मी शारण विश्वनाथ यस जोशिका सी कैलेश स्टीव फ्रैंक योहन के मधुबाला यस रंगशिका बी एस वैशालिनी आर आत्मिका हर्षिता वेंकटेशन शारुमती वासुदेव मेनन ए प्रीति का अश्विता बी यस रोशनी एब्रियान गैब्रियल जयसील सुभश्री संदल राम कुमार रक्षिता बी
दिव्य दर्शनी अरुणाचलम एल टी दयानेश एन निरंजना श्री अनिरुद्ध श्रीकांत अश्वत कार्तिबन रिया शरण बिंजे तंग योगेश्वरन अभिरामी सी रूपश्री रमा प्रिया डीएल आदित्य राज नुमेर आकर जय वर्मा आर एस अरविंद श्याम एम समंता तिलक अरुणेश जे बाल वैष्णवी एम अमन कुमार आनंद प्रेम अजी मोहम्मद अशफाकी शिव सुबराज एन अनिरुद्ध सिंह रोशनी पी जनवर्षिणी पी राहुल आर संजीत पी गौतम ए वर्षा एम समीर शरीफ ई वैभवी शिवेंद्र साची तरुण सिंधल कुमार
loquacious Meghna Rangan Sri Kadrvel M.K. Sri Ram Ranganathan T Gayatri K.R. Harshini Kumar Sanjana DK Rakshita Ella K Sanjana Kavin Ragul K Ovia Yes Sri Lasya P Saranya V Palak Surana Amrita R Jude Hosan J Anshu CS Afifa Jagabar Sadiq Arun Srinivasan Arshit Kumar R.D. Prashant Kumar B. De Devi Sri Vien. Trisha S. Ashwiga Guru Charan K Sandhya Vijay Kumar Sri Kala Devi Dachya Mena Feruza Srimati M Abhinaya Vinayagam Ashwin T Pritika Shanmati
अमानुद्दीन रिचर्ड जे सहाना सतीश यस एन बिद्याश्री कर्षणी पांडितुरै हेमा बी पद्मप्रिय राजकुमार अनुकार्तिका तेजस्वी आर सुप्रिया ए राम राघव आर रक्षिता एस रुष्मिता बी चला हेमंत टी मधुमिता मारन अंजना गौरी श्याम कुमार एसवी शक्ति शनबगा देवी एल लक्षिता गीता एस एच गुरुवेल श्री पी के अनन्या श्री दिव्य दर्शनी एम अर्शिनी रवि भावना ऋतिका ऋतिका दिव्या एस बसंतन के के रिया समीर श्याम केशव नितीश रेड्डी देवियंश नहाता काव्य दर्शनी लोकेश्रेयस
मोनीश का नाम ए पनीका ऋषिका टी Oh, 
Shreya Nair. Reshika. Dhanalakshmi Shiva Arun Asman Manoj Krishna Anthony Priyesh Ayan Abhijit Abraham Shriniti Shivani Ashika Rachel James Sujari Kanish Kepsi Garnita Immaculate Pranita Mohammed Abhyan Siddhi Shri Levin Jews
an authority in my subject. I shall not display my knowledge and skill with arrogance. Courses here. So, wish you all the very best and make the best use of all the facilities available here. Put in your maximum effort, and with the blessings of Almighty, all of you will come out in flying colors. Thank you very much, and all the best. Good morning to one and all here. I am Dr. Vijay Lakshmi, HOD Physiology. We have a team of 18 faculty. Uh, I am introducing Dr. Nalini, she is HOD Academics and uh, Dr. Jayalakshmi, HOD Research. So, research is going in full flesh and you will be doing research. So, I congratulate all of you and my best, our best wishes to all of you. Please approach us if there is anything to ask us. Thank you. Good morning. I am Dr. Anandi, personal HOD Department of Biochemistry. This is Dr. K. Dari, Professor of Biochemistry and Associate Dean of Faculty. And our department has 13 faculties. All the teachers are ready to teach you. I request all of you to make use of the things and study well. All the best. Good afternoon all, a beautiful heartwarming event and start of a life journey for 250 youngsters has now begun. As the event comes to a close, it is an honor to thank all those whose hard work and good wishes has contributed to this great atmosphere of hope and joy. We thank our chief guest. Professor Dr. Gurmeet Singh, Vice Chancellor Pondicherry University and member of NMC, who amidst his extremely busy schedule has taken time to be here at Savita Medical College to bless and honor the new entrants to MBBS as they begin their lifelong journey. Thank you very much, sir. I wish to add that yours was a most thought-provoking talk, very very interesting and should always be remembered by all. I hope you all accept that. Thank you. Our thanks are due to our Chancellor, sir, who to all of us is an embodiment of simplicity and generosity. He is present every year <coughs> as new entrants like you to MBBS start their uh, course with the white coat ceremony. And he's also present when postgraduates and super speciality doctors join. And 
is happiest when he is talking and welcoming parents. He also will be present as the students, uh, MBBS students, complete their course and leave the college. So the passing out ceremony is, will always be attended by Sir. And we are very, very happy. And so are the parents and the students when he is here. Our thanks are due to our director of academics, who is always thinking of ways and means to elevate medical education and patient treatment to the next level. It was very obvious to all of us when he spoke at length about what uh, he has in mind to improve every part of the college and the hospital. Our thanks are due to our deans, Professor Damodaran and Professor Kumudar, for their planning and hard work to ensure all activities, academic and others, are conducted successfully, as like this one. We thank all faculty of first MBBS departments and all assistant deans who have worked very hard to ensure that both students and parents are welcome to uh, seamlessly begin their transition to a higher education milieu. Finally, our thanks are due to all support staff from IT department, office of the dean, electrical department and maintenance. And thank you all very much parents for being here, supporting the college and supporting your students, your children. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. That brings us to the close of this official ceremony. Thank you very much for being present here and making it more beautiful for us. May we all please rise for the national anthem.